Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a Halloween kind of makeup tutorial for the scary spooky season and we are going to be taking inspiration from this photo from the Evil Dead. Evil Dead is one of my, well it isn't one of my, it is my all-time favorite horror movie franchises. Uh, it stars Bruce Campbell, it's directed by Sam Raimi, and it's produced by Robert Tapper. I am a huge fan of this franchise and yeah, let's just get into the look. And from my understanding and my opinion, this is the most iconic image, one of the most iconic imagery from the first movie released in 1981. So from the photo, it actually looks like we're going to be using these three cream makeups. So we're going to be using a black, a green, and a white. And we're going to be mixing the white and the green together. Basically, it's going to be like a really, really pale green. And I'm going to be telling you exactly why I love the Evil Dead franchise so much. I have emotional connection to it. I just really like it. I started watching it when I was, I want to say I was six years old when I watched Evil Dead 3. So the third one in the trilogy. So Evil Dead uh, Army of Darkness. It is eventually like over the course of these three films it gets even funnier so it's a dark comedy so that's why I was allowed to watch it as a kid and it's just something that my dad and I eventually bonded over. For the past few seconds I've just been rummaging around in my special effects makeup bag. I actually need to go through and update it and go through all of the old makeup but this is what we're going to be working with for now and it's all spread out on the floor here. Let me just give you guys another angle of everything. Just to give you guys another angle of how I work <laughs> on the setup and everything. Now first I'm actually going to be looking, I'm just looking at the reference photo and it looks like she has, she has an open wound right here on her face with like bandages kind of like patching it up and it's really dark around her eyes and it looks like there's like a staple in her nose on that same side so over here. We're just going to be sketch like lightly sketching where we're going to put everything on our face and I'm actually going to be using this Wet n Wild Coal Black Eyeliner Pencil. There's like a giant gash across her nose. So this is the sketch kind of outline just to know where we're where we want to put things and so we don't mess up too badly. Yeah. Do you see that? That's the liquid latex that I have on hand. Ugh. We'll see how Oh jeez. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. And I'm just going to be using this little paint palette that I used in our last video. I want to say it was the red spot video. And that's been up for a while, so if you have yet to see it, I will have it linked in the description down below. I think last year I used this brush for my blood powder, and that's why it's kind of coming out red. And when I say blood powder, I literally mean blood powder. This is the Ben Nye Mass Casualty Blood Powder, and you literally just dust it on, and it's a trend. Oh my gosh, do you see that? And it's a translucent kind of powder. It's a translucent powder. And when you wet it, it actually shows up as blood. So we might be using that as well in this look. And I don't know if that's a staple or a slit. I want to say it's a staple, but we're just going to make it our own and make it into a giant gaping hole in our nose. Mm, try not to get that in my hair. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to let all of this dry down and maybe even put one more layer on it. And I will catch up with you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back. It has been, I want to say it's been about 10 minutes. It has dried completely. It kind of feels weird talking on the side of my face. It just feels weird. But anyway, we are going to be taking some tweezers. As you can see, I kind of went in on my lower part of my eye because I went back in and looked at the photo and it kind of looks like there's a little bit of... I want to say it's sunken in 
and I kind of want to achieve that same effect too. So we're just going to be going in with a pair of normal tweezers from Sally Beauty and just start picking away at this and you can still see the outline underneath this which is really great. Just be careful not to get your actual skin because you are really going to hurt yourself. Now you can really see the outline. So now we're going to go move right on into the forehead. Oh my gosh, I'm like taking the whole thing off. I just did this eye on camera and I'm going to do this eye off camera just to save a little bit on time and I will catch up with you guys when it's done. So I went in on this side. I actually found that using your nails, if you're a girl, using your nails instead of tweezers around your eyes is way nicer, way less of a risk. And I actually peel this down and it's like a flap of skin just hanging off of my face, which I think looks kind of cool. And I accidentally like upbridged this so I can actually stick my finger through and go into the other side and I'm not gonna fix it I think it looks kind of cool so I'm just gonna leave it exactly the way it is I remember I did the they're not zombies by any means they're like deadites in the movie they call them deadites but this kind of just takes me back to when I did my very first zombie makeup I remember I watched a YouTube video tutorial on how to do it I remember I woke up I want to say on Halloween day I was I want to say a senior in high school junior in high school I woke up Halloween day I want to say at like 4 or 5 a.m. and got ready with all my makeup and I literally like penciled in teeth and everything right here I'll, I'll find a picture if I can I'll see if I can find a picture and just post it up here but yeah, I, po I did in some teeth and my jaw was just open and I was just all bloody and I actually remember my jaw was literally like hanging out, like flapping out. <laughs> and it was really funny. It was really cool. I'm just going to take one of these cosmetic wedges. You can literally get them from the Dollar Tree. They come in a huge pack of 28 just like this. And we're going to be taking the painter's palette, put in some green, some white, and I'm actually going to be putting a little bit of my foundation into there too. So there it is right there. Ew, so it looks really weird. Do you see that? And we're just going to be putting it right here. Ew, it's more green than I want it to be. So we're going to be adding more foundation. It honestly reminds me of an avocado mask. Yeah, way too green. So I'm just going to go get a headband really quickly so I don't get any of this in my hair. Yeah, this is definitely may way more green than I wanted, but we'll add some white to it or my natural foundation in no time, I betcha, because right now it just looks like I'm putting guac on my face. I think that looks way better and more accurate towards the picture. Look at my hand, jeez. Got all over my hand. That's all I'm going to do for the complexion. Because, again, we're going to be going over this with a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with a really, really light red. Well, not a light red, a bright red. I'm going to be going in with a really bright red. And I'm going to be mixing that with a little bit of brown. I'm just putting it right here in the very center. And I'm just doing it for this one, not any of the other ones. Now we're going in with the darkest brown and just go on the outer part. Now going in with that same dark brown right here on her nose. I'm 
just some dark brown around our regular eyes and then we're going to transition it to the black. And I'm using the Morphe M456 brush for all of this. Okay, so now we're going into the black. I feel like it's less scary because I'm wearing these cat ears to keep my hair out of my face. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to start talking about the Evil Dead since we're doing this look. So basically the whole movie is about this group of friends, go figure, that go out into the woods and uh, they're in a cabin together and their car breaks down and they're at this cabin and it's super creepy. There's these two couples and this one single girl named Cheryl and she is the sister of our main character Ash, played by Bruce Campbell and she's the one that gets possessed first and there's a cellar to this place down in the basement and this is actually she's actually the one that I'm uh, recruiting the look from she is by far the most iconic deadite in the entire franchise in my mind so I like went super rogue and started doing my own thing and got super distracted just now so yeah Anyway, um, so she's the first one to get possessed and then eventually another one of the girlfriends gets possessed and it's just this huge thing and at the end of it, Bruce Campbell, well like, okay, if you guys don't care about me spoiling the ending, go ahead and like continue watching, but if you care, if you want to watch this and you don't care about spoilers, then just keep watching. If you do want to watch this movie and you want to see it in its entirety and you care about the spoilers like you're so die hard that you like can't have any spoilers you know because I'm kind of like that in certain franchises like Marvel but um yeah if you want to watch it on your own and have this experience for yourself if you never watched it go ahead and mute it until the mute button on the screen is no longer here He's the last one alive and it just ends on this magnificent shot by Sam Raimi. Uh, literally it's from the perspective of like the spirits trying to possess them and it's like swooping through the forest and the woods and through the house and it busts through the door and it comes straight for Bruce Campbell's face and it's just this ending shot of him screaming and it's just ugh. There's a reason why it's my favorite horror movie of all time. And I knew that this Halloween on my channel, I just had to do something inspired by this. So here we are. So let's just go back to the photo for the reference. Now we're going to start adding in the blood. So now we're going to be taking the Morphe M158 brush. It's like this eyebrow brush. And it taking that cream makeup. Uh-oh, I just got it on myself. Just taking a little bit of that cream makeup. And I'm going to start making like the slashes in her face and like the bags and everything. Glad that was kind of, that's kind of over with because that's too much pressure. Ugh. So basically the battery on the camera is going to die. So I'm just going to go charge it for a little bit and I'll catch up with you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so while the camera was charging, I actually tight lined my lower lash line with that same Wet n Wild black coal pencil. And if you don't know what tight lining is, it's basically dragging like... Mm, it's basically lining the bottom of your waterline. Your waterline is that uh, space. I'll just show you an image of a waterline. Seriously, it's so weird to explain. But anyway, I actually tight lined that with some pencil eyeliner and I think it made a huge difference in regards to my eyes. So we're just going to be going in and splattering some blood on it and I'm going to do a really cool thing with my teeth with the charcoal powder. So let's just go. So right here I have some zombie blood spray 
and we're just gonna see oh geez oh okay I can deal with this I just sprayed a little on my hand just for just for some reference ah! oh my gosh I think I'm just gonna go with blood powder because that just seems like the best solution right now so I have to be super careful with this oh my gosh a little bit goes such a long way they literally there we go. Eesh. I'll be right back. Eh. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even recording. I was just talking to myself. Wow, okay, so I just activated it, believe me, with the Mac Fix Plus. I literally sprayed it all over my face. That's what the blood powder does. And I put in activated charcoal in my teeth. I guess I'm going to have to do it all over again just to show you. But, yeah. Wow. I can't believe I wasn't even recording. That's ridiculous. Oof. I'm going to take this out and just give you guys th this look in its full glory. And, like, add some black to my lips using the ABH lip palette. Okay? Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to be redoing, I'm going to be redoing the charcoal. Okay. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the look and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy Halloween.